Range 7500, bearing 255. Range 7500, bearing 255. Air action, port. Range 7000, bearing 255. Range 7000, bearing 255. Range 7000. Bearing 255. Range 6500. Bearing 255. Range 6500. Bearing 255. Range 6500. Range 6000. Range 6000. Range 5000. Range 5000. Range 4000. Mr. Ross, give us the word. Mr. Ross, give us the word. Mr. Ross, I'm going to fire. Hold your fire. Hey, look! It's one of ours! He's lost and wants a fix. Give him our approximate position, Dave. Aye, aye, sir. Well, what do you know? Mr. Austin is really on the ball. You are gonna fire. Me? Without orders? What do you think, I'm crazy? That's what I think, all right. Oh, come on, Mendoza. You sure sounded like you were going to fire. I was just talking it up. Are you quite sure? Yes, sir. Stand at ease, Austin. You realize, of course, the seriousness of the statement you've just made, that you weren't able to fire at that plane. I realize it, sir. Well, have you got any idea why? No, sir, I don't. Well, perhaps you recognized it as an American plane from the sound of the motors. No, sir. Subconsciously, perhaps. Maybe, but I don't, I don't think so. Well, if it had been a clear day and you'd recognized it as a Japanese plane, you'd have fired then, wouldn't you? I don't know. That's why I came to you. Well, there's got to be a reason, Austin. There's got to be. Could it be religious? Sir? On your form, you're down as a Quaker. Could that have anything to do with it? Well, I haven't been to a meeting in years. But you must remember what they taught you. Well, of course I do about it. If I were a practicing Quaker, well, I wouldn't be here, sir. No. If that had been a Jap plane, none of us might be here. And whose fault would that be? Mine. Didn't you realize that at the time? Yes, sir, I... I don't know what happened. It... Something seemed to be pressing me, and I... I just couldn't move. I wish I could understand you, Austin. How could you understand me, sir, when I don't understand myself? You know, when you first came aboard, there was doubt in certain quarters as to your fitness for combat. Yes, sir, I talked to Commander Edge. Yes, and I told him to mind his own business. Maybe he's smarter than you think he is. Maybe he's right. You realize, of course, that by keeping quiet about this, you could have taken credit for not firing on one of our own planes? Yes, sir. But I felt it was my duty to come to you and tell you I'm not sure myself. Now, what you think is your duty is really mine, Austin. The fact that today I'm having you change places with Swanson, he'll take over your gunnery duties, you'll take over damage control. That's all, Austin. Yes, sir. 